Well, have you ever went to a really tall building but was forced to take the stairs? Well, I think you could relate to the Bedellators because that's exactly what happened. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this epic book called A Series of Unfortunate Events, Book the Sixth by Lemony Snicket, the sarcastic, annoying storyteller himself. The S or Sats elevator, or Sats means false or fake, by the way. And well, it's about Sun. Well, it's about Sunny Claus and Violet Bedelladeer. And the the Bedelladeers has been very unfortunate. And in the end of the last books, book, their darling friends, the Quagamires, has been captured. Meanwhile, this time they are living in Dark Avenue, close to their old house. There they meet. A very, very rich couple named named uh, the Squallers, and they are Esme Squaller and Jerome Squaller. And as as they live there, Esme Squaller is ridiculous. She is very annoying, and also she is she is rich. She is spoiled, and she she always thinks of things as in or out, which means fashionable or unfashionable. If people think being dark inside a house is fashionable, she does that. If she thinks that elevators aren't fashionable, she does that. She's super annoying and super annoying and just plain, plain mean. And she makes everyone wear pinstripe suits. And she buy people presents that were actually really bad. And, well, she thinks of orphans as in and thinks of them as things but what happens if orphans are out that's like really jeez louise that's, that's just too horrible to imagine and esme and jerome jerome's the kind one he's nice he tries to buy the dollars presents that they want and it's just epic and this time they find a false weirdly false elevator and by this they mean that there's two elevators at uh, um, there's two elevators on their floor which is really high up the top floor it's a penthouse and on, at the bottom there's only one elevator door that's weird i mean two ele elevators and only one is used what the other one used for and they find out that the quakamirs has been trapped in there in a cage for a long long time which is really really annoying and they try to rescue the Quagamirs, and they and our dear Violet manages to invent something, a welding torch to burn down the cage's doors. But, 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 Isadora and Duncan were moved too fast, and by the time they had a welding torch, they were gone. Where they are, they're inside one of the auction items, and they find a startling discovery. That Esme Squalor is actually Olaf's old, old student, and she is evil alongside with him. And personally, the worst part about this story is that how long they had to walk. The, let me tell you something. This, this, there's an entire apartment building, and the penthouse is on the top, top, top floor. And they have to walk up to it with no elevators. It takes long enough with elevators. You have to walk up to it. Think about that. I mean, I mean, a couple of years ago, my dad forced me to go up or down the, the Eiffel Tower. And it sucked. It sucked. Seriously. Yeah. Well, I think I was going down. And I did go, like, a little bit up. But it was enough to make my legs turn to jello. And it sucked. And personally, that's what the, it takes hours to get up to your house and hours to get down. Well, unless you slide down the banister, which is a fun and more dangerous way to do it. But I never do that, so yeah. And thinking about it, it's just great. And I'm being sarcastic, by the way. And the Bandeliers have to survive this crisis. And they, and Isadora and Duncan, they had said something about VFD. What is it? And there is an auction item named VFD. Could they find out what it is? And could our dear Bedelladares save the day or fail yet again? 
Well, that's your choice to read it or not. And like always, your book Wester and the book Wester. Great book, guys, and never forget of saying the elevator's here. I'm so glad because you should be.